Hi guys, Frost here. Today we are going to do the Atta Gathers Raid results. I didn't know if I actually did a... No, I didn't do a... Looking into it, actually, now I think about it. I, d I didn't think I forgot it or something, I just didn't have the time. Somebody pushed over, or in this case Dan, pushed over 300 million with this in this rate and I'm like sitting at the 11k mark with 3 million and 12k like of course he's, ja he's jamming like a fuck ton and I'm not you know I'm just free to play and rates are like my weekend off because um, I just need to get some things done in sometimes you know and that's where I that's where the radio the radio weekend comes in. I sometimes I just have I'm just having problems with pronouncing the R. I don't know why because it, I usually didn't have that. Um, we came in 282 or 288. Okay, we did it like that, and yeah, it was top 30. I can't really tell the awards anymore, unfortunately. But 3D actually pushed uh, two girls in top three this time, and that is a very first one in a rate because Bond Beyond Time and DK went. Or DK actually did still first, but Bun Beyond Time got pushed out for the first time, I guess, since I've been doing YouTube, and that's about 8-9 months now. Uh, Death Knights, Majestic, Meteor Pirates, Bun Beyond Time, Smallville, Selfless Giants, Warhammers, The Goonies, Natural Reborn, and Adonis Hunters. Uh, I don't think uh, Empire was expecting two girls to push top 3 from 3D, because they always do like Majestic going for top 1, or trying to get top 1, as... <laughs> As you can clearly see right here, but they got two girls in top three, and that is what Empire usually does. So I think this, but there's also some childish things going on in um, over at here because there were actually people like this, Dave and Phil, the number eleven and twelve. You know, I just I just think this is kind of childish because. They, their name is Dave Strikes Back, you know, that's, <clears throat> uh, it, uh, it means the Empire Strikes Back, uh, Star Wars movie, of course, that's one of the, yeah, that's one of the original trilogy, and it's one of the best, no, I, I don't think uh, Empire Strikes Back is actually a good one, comparing to the six and the fourth one, but, they do this, <clears throat> Uh, my voice is a bit hanging out right now, but they just do this to like, um, yeah, I don't know, I know how to say it in Dutch, but I can't say it in English. Um, how can I say this properly? I Im yeah, they are trying to imitate, imit int intimidate you, that's the word I was searching for. I, I knew the word in Dutch, but I was like... What was it in English? It's pretty much the same. But this, they're trying to, I don't really know what they're trying to do with this, except intimidating each other, but... Oh, it's Cam. Sorry. Phil strikes back, Dave strikes back, you know. Just do your regular name, just do like Piggy has. Just put your... Just put some random text in it, you know, and just put like four to five texts as, I, as most people usually do because they always do their alliance, their branch, and their guild, and I don't really know, you know, and then you'll get like big ass DK rip 8080s. But we are going further with this Dragon, Lajao Brazil, The D, Reunion of Brothers, Gambino, Wajipulus, Edge of Darkness, Timeless Souls, New Age Brazil, United Beast. Psychotic Ninjas, Elite Knights, Millionaires Club, New Alpha Gilda Italia. I don't, I don't know if I s actually s say that or pronounce that good or not. Uh, but whooping time. It's been a while since I've seen those people actually come up here. Italiani, the Immortals, Titans, Sublime Warriors Two, and the Final Stand. Sublime Warriors Two is actually subgod of the normal Sublime Warriors, and I, so they figured like we are going to trade with this. And who then came? Dark Legacies then came in uh, top 30. Shame on them. Yes, shame. Probably. I don't know how this 
was going, but let's just um, let's see if I can name them all this time. Because last time I figure, or I actually didn't name them all because of there were goals that I like forgot about that they were Empire or 3D, or and there were also other goals. You know, and this is how I also update my own list of things because uh, there was a gold called Kuro Amaterasu or something, Kie I always call it. And I basically named it 3D because they put, they were pushing in for it top 3 but they were forced to stop. And they left Kie or they left 3D because of that. now they are Empire and I didn't know that at the time, now I do of course but still. Uh, DK Empire, 3D, 3D, Bombion Times, Empire, Smallville's Empire, Selfless Giants. Uh, this one is a tricky one. No. Um, I think it's 3D. I I'm, I'm honestly not trying to offend anyone or something, you know, by saying the other thing, but sometimes I just see golds that are over there and golds that are over there and they switch around and I didn't really know because there's some go there's always golds that s switch from alliance and I, I can't keep track of that, no one can keep track of that because every day is like three gold, three big golds and a fuck ton of little golds, you know, but you don't really see those Warhammer is Empire, the Goonies is 3D as far as I know, Knights Reborn I... I... Don't have a fucking clue. Adonis Santos is United Front. Empire it is. Dragon. This one is a bit harsh. Uh, Lajar Brazil is Rainmakers. TMOM. Uh, I honestly don't know about Dragon. I think it's 3D or something. It's certainly not Empire because if it's Empire, I should have known. Reunion of Brothers. Empire, I think. Uh, Gambino is actually the. Uh, how to say it properly? Uh, it was Alpha, now it's Omega, or Familiar Alliance. They call they call it. He likes to call it Eisman. Uh The D is Empire. Uh, what you call this? Empire Edge of Darkness. I don't know. United Beasts Treaty. New Age Brazil. There's so many Brazilian girls lately. Lajaio Brazil. New Age Brazil. Uh, Timeless Souls was. I'm not even keeping track of it anymore. Psychotic Ninjas. I've never even heard of that girl before. Elite Knights 3D. Merlinas Club. They were 3D last time I checked. Butter Whooping Time. You can force my ass off. I don't know. I see them sometimes, but... Never knew what kind of things they were. Nova Gildatalia. NGI was 3D. Italiani Empire. Yeah, the death, these Italian girls are like... Really hard for me. Because there's like 30 Italian girls and they're all maxed and they're, they all look alike. I mean, you see Italiani, but they also have Italiani 1 and Italiani with a Y and all that shit. The Immortals, Titans, I've never actually seen that girl before in a top run, so I don't know where they are from. And that was basically it already. And of course, like I said, I... I... God damn it. I find this childish, you know, this strikes back thing. It's just my opinion, of course. If they like to do it, then please be my guest, but... <laughs> I don't really see why 3D does this, except Intimidating Empire. But they did some... They did indeed some kind of strike back thing, except for getting top 1. But they did cut top 3. Yeah, I don't know... If Bond Beyond Time wasn't pushing hard enough, or they just stopped after a while after Meteor Pirates engaged on them. I just don't know. And if I want to know, then you can just tell me if, if, if you know it. So guys, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you later in the next video. Bye-bye!